All right, welcome to Online Mass TV. My name is Jakes Anemo, and today we have a little challenge on the board. And it says, sum y equal to 2x plus 1 and y equal to 2x to the power of 2 plus 5x minus 1. Let's go. So here we take selection. We can take the first one as equation one and the second one as equation two. So from here, if we give this y equal to 2x plus 1 equal to equation one, then we take y equal to 2x to the power of 2 plus 5x minus 1 as our second equation. What do we do? Now, let's take a look at this separately. We are having y equal to this and y equal to this. In other words, we can substitute equation 1 into the place of y in equation 2. So, from here, we cannot say substitute or put equation 1 into equation 2. It means whenever we see y in the second equation, we put in 2x plus 1. So this now implies that here yeah, we are having y here. So I'm going to replace it with the 2x plus 1. So this gives us 2x plus 1 equal to 2x squared plus 5x minus 1. So when we rearrange this, we give us here yeah, we now going to have two x squared my plus five x then minus two x minus one minus one or equal to zero. So from here we're not left with x squared. We can carry out the arithmetic here. So plus five x minus 2x that will give us plus 3x so we have here plus 3x minus 1 minus 1 will give us minus 2 or equal to 0 now if you look at this carefully this is a quadratic equation so we solve this quadratically using factorization method so if we are to use factorization method we bring this and this together so this will give us minus 4. So we look for the factors of minus 4. Here we're going to have 1, 2, and 4. So we look for two numbers from this factor that we will multiply together to give us minus 4. Add it together to give us plus 3x. So the two number from here is going to give us 1 and 4. Then what will be the side? 1 will carry a minus sign and 4 will carry a positive sign because minus 1 times plus 4 will give us minus 4. Then minus 1 plus 4 will give us plus 3. So from there, we impute this into our equation. So this gives us 2x squared minus x plus 4x minus 2 or equal to 0. So we can put dx in bracket, put this in bracket, dx and dx in bracket. So from here, let's proceed. Now we look at the terms in this bracket. What is common to dx and dx is just x. And what is common to dx second bracket is 2. So we factorize x out. So this now gives us x bracket x into 2x square will give us 2x minus x into x will give us 1 close bracket then here what is common is 2 we bring out 2 so this gives us plus 2 bracket 2 into 4x will give us 2x then 2 into 2 will give us 
1. So we have here minus 1 or equal to 0. Now, at this point, we are having the same thing in the first bracket and also in the second bracket. So we take only one. So this, we take this one that is out and this that is out. So this will now give us x plus 2, close bracket, bracket 2x minus 1 or equal to 0. So we can equate this to 0, equate this to 0. So this will now give us x plus 2 equal to 0 or 2x minus 1 equal to 0. So from here, we take 2 to the right hand side, we take minus 1 to the right hand side. So we have here x is equal to when plus 2 crosses the sign of equality, it's going to give us minus 2. So we have this to be minus 2 or 2x is equal to plus 1. We are look, not looking for 2x, we are looking for just x. So we divide by 2. So this will give us x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to 2 all over, sorry, is equal to 1 all over 2. Now that we've gotten the two values for x, what do you do? Let's go back to our equation. We can put these two values into equation 1 or equation 2 to get the value of y. Because so long we're having two values for x, definitely we also have two values for y. So from here, when I'll say when x is equal to minus 2, what would be the value of y? y is equal to, we take the first equation, which is 2x plus 1. And this will give us 2. Whenever we see x, we put in minus 2 into it. So we have here minus 2 plus 1, which is equal to minus 4 plus 1. And minus 4 plus 1 will give us minus 3. Then we also look for when x is equal to 1 all over 2. We do same thing too. So we do that into our equation. Y will now be your 2 into 1 all over 2, close bracket, plus 1, which is equal to, yeah, we are having 2, yeah, and 2 at the bottom. So both of them can strike out. So if you do that, this and this will leave. So once they leave, we now have here 1 plus 1. And 1 plus 1 gives us 2. So from this solving, therefore, we cannot say that therefore x is equal to we have minus 2 or 1 all over 2. And y is equal to we have the first one is minus 3 or plus 2. So these are the solution to our quadratic expression. Okay. All right. So if you are new to this channel, I urge you to subscribe to this channel because we drop one video at least every other day. And if you gain any value from our videos, can you give our videos a thumbs up? Drop a comment in the comment section if you have any question with regard to the solving. Another one, welcome.